Okay, so we're back today with Maddie, the little Yorkshire Terrier. And what we're doing here is something we call the walking, which is teaching them the precursor to heal, really. And with little dogs and puppies, you want to use this flexi leash. And the purpose of this is really not, you know, with, with a bigger dog, of course, pulling is going to be an issue. But with a little dog like this, you're as much helping them understand to follow you and that you're the boss. So this is going to be the precursor to heal. With a little dog, you're best off to use one of these flexi leads. Do not put the brake on the leash. All right, turn. And then what I'm doing is holding the pager down. And as soon as she moves in that direction, then I'm letting it back up. So she's getting the idea. She's very easily distracted, and this is what helps them. All right, turn. Learn to pay better attention. You know, to learn to watch you. Instead of just, as soon as you set them down, they take off running. Such a cute little dog. All right, turn. So remember, with a small dog like this, just use a flexi leash. We want as little weight as possible. Turn. And I'm holding the pager down until she's moving in that direction. If they balk, you keep holding it down and just keep moving slowly. All right, turn. As soon as they turn and start moving the opposite way, then let the pager up. And this is really sort of helping them understand, too, with the coming, that you turn the pager off by moving in their direction. All right, turn. If you don't do, all right, turn. If you don't do this precursor, you'll never teach one to heal. And, and really, the bigger picture is really teaching them that I'm the leader. All right, turn. You're a cute little dog. So you're going to really usually do this, and you know, with a little dog like this, with, you know, very short little attention span, you'll probably proceed with this for about a week at least. And then you really don't want to try to go on any, you know, any other kind of walker. So there's kind of the precursor to heal right there. All right, turn. All right, turn. Turn. I'm starting the pager slightly before. All right, turn. Turn. And once you've done this for a few minutes, then you can go back and do the calling. All right, so have you got treats? Yes. All right, so just go up. Yeah, all right, right there, and then... Then we'll do the calling back and forth. And we're basically doing the same thing we did yesterday. We're just going to increase the distance. All right, let her go. Stop 
the pager slightly before she gets called. Alright, Maddie! Oh, what a good little girl. Oh, she's a fast little thing. She's a fast little dog. Alright, go ahead. Maddie! And really what we're doing is just forming the habit that when somebody calls, they just kind of run without thinking. And the reason we use the name for the recall is that's what 99% of people are going to say when they want a dog to come to them. Alright, call her back. Maddie! So you see what happened right there is we were able to stop her in mid-turn when she felt the pager she turned. All right, call her. Daddy. And that's really the behavior that we're looking for. That you know, if the dog was running towards the street or something, we could stop her. All right, call her. Daddy. <laughs> Little dog. All right, call her. Daddy. <laughs> Call her. Maddie. So that's really the behavior that we're looking for. That when the dog's running away, we can get her to come back. All right, let me call her. Maddie. Oh, he's such a good little girl. He's such a good little girl. He's such a hungry little thing. Hungry little dog. Oh. Maddie. Good girl. Good girl. The so same thing right then. I stopped, was able to stop her and turn her back around by starting the pager right when I was getting ready to call her. So we'll leave it with that for today. We'll join Maddie again later. See ya.